Hey everyone, so soon we're back. Um, looks like we lost a few viewers. Tell your friends to come back, tell them to come back because we're gonna be talking to Ebenezer from Maine. Um, he's gonna be telling us all about his work, his design, he's a craftsman. Um, he does jewelry, he does mugs, he does apparel, uh, so many things. I can't even remember off the top of my head. We just had an interesting conversation with Jill Little John Bostic. If you missed that one, go back to Margie TV, YouTube, Facebook, listen to our podcast so that you can catch Jill's conversation. She talked about leadership and love. Oh, she had me feeling all happy inside because she was talking about how she met her man and how, you know, she's thriving in her work and how she loves that work and it translates into that leadership. Um, into the leadership roles that she's played. If you want to know more about that, well, I'm not saying I'm not saying that. If you want to know, you need to know more about that. So go catch Jill's episode. I cannot wait um, to bring Ebenezer in from the green room. Um, I've gotten to learn more about him. I did visit his website and I've seen his craft. He um, he went to school in Italy, got some skills there. And then he went to school in Maine, got some more skills there, and then went up to New York for his master's. This guy is talented, and I think people should know about him. So if you're watching this video, be sure to spread the word, because this guy is doing amazing things. His crap should be in all these mainstream stores, online, everywhere. And so we're gonna bring Ebenezer into the house. Hold tight. Hey guys, it's Margie. I'm back. Oh, it looks like we have a little feedback. I'm back. Um, this is Humanity Chats. We have Ebenezer from Maine. He's going to tell us a little bit about himself and we're going to get started. This is Humanity Chats. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks to our YouTube viewers, Facebook, our podcast listeners. We are so appreciative of you guys tuning in every week to listen to us. Hello, Ebenezer. Hello, 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 hello. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. It feels good for somebody to actually ask me how I'm doing. And um, I feel like I should give you a long answer about <laughs> how I went to a soccer game and how I was screaming and jumping and going oh, wow. Yes, yelling at my son, saying that that about you got to get that ball in, that's the ball. You know, yeah, yeah. If you ask me how how I'm doing, I'll, I'll yeah. just go on and on. <laughs> so, Ebenezer, today it's about you. We have thirty minutes of conversation. You really don't want to ask Maji Maji what's going on because Maji okay, I get it. I get it. Talk. <laughs> yes, yes Maji Maji can talk, Ebenezer. It is an honor to to um, have you on this channel with all your talent. I cannot wait. I ordered some stuff from your website, and I cannot wait to get my swag so I can show it off to everybody. But you, um, you know. Yes, yes, Ebenezer, give us a little background. Who is Ebenezer and what does he do? Where is he from? What's his journey like? So um, I've, had, I've had the opportunity to actually watch a few of your videos and I must admit I am honored and um, thankful for you having me on this chat. Um, I feel like I'm one of the big boys now, you know? <laughs> Anyway, so my name is Ebenezer Kako, and I'm originally from Ghana. Um, 
my dad, um, my dad was an architect. Uh, my mom was also a petty trader. She, um, she was pretty good in, in, in um, fabric, fabric sales and stuff like that. Um, I also grew up with my uncle and I think I learned a lot from, from both worlds. My uncle who was a, mat a mathematician, uh, God bless his soul. He died exactly um, a, a 10 years ago this month. Um, so just like everybody else, uh, right after high school, you begin to figure out what, do, what is it you, that you want to do. I wanted to follow the steps of my dad. I wanted to be an architect just like him. And my dad was like, no, we cannot all be architects. So he suggested I should go into jewelry making. So my jewelry making journey um, started me off as an apprentice in Ghana. And then um, I headed down to Italy to, to, to further sharpen my skills in jewelry design and stuff setting. And then just when I was done with it, I ended up in Maine uh, also to continue furthering my education in the jewelry industry. Uh, but somewhere along the line, I think things change. We learn, we grow, and we change. And in that process, um, I, I think I've become a designer or a product designer, and I've become um, uh, a designer who likes to design things that have messages. Because with, with everything that is happening in our world today and the way production, especially if you look at iPhone, and all these technologies, the way they're designed for you to not have connection with them. They're designed for you to not have, in, like, if you don't have a connection with something, it is easy to throw it away. So what I am trying to do with my design or solving a problem is to, to design pieces that carry messages. So when that message is important to you, you don't just throw it away because it carries weight. It carries memories. It carries um, a message that you want to hold dear to you. To you. And by so doing, I'm, I'm hoping I'm also providing to the, to the entire world of people not trashing stuff. <laughs> so in a nutshell, yeah, that's it. I'm, I also like to think I'm a problem solver. And on a very good day, I call myself a hybrid man. Because I make jewelry, I also make fabric, and I also make um, home design products like you know drinking glasses, um, you know coasters, stuff like that, all using symbols. So yeah. <laughs> wow, that is amazing! Um, you make coasters, you make glassware. Uh, wow, you make jewelry. You're you're just talented. Now I know that you're not intense twenty four seven. So there must be something fun that you can share with us, Ebenezer, before we get to talking more about your work. So share a fun fact with us. A fun fact in regards to what? <laughs> in regards to you, like maybe you you are a good dancer, or maybe you like to eat ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream with cake or um, ice cream with cake? Know. Seriously? What are you saying? No. So okay, if if you're a Ghanaian, my favorite food is banku with okra stew, Ooh. with uh, with some crab. I call I call the crabs my cousins, you know, because my village is where Adan is where we have the best crabs in Ghana. So so yes, uh, that's that's one fun fact of Ebenezer. I. Um, and I enjoy food. I enjoy good food, actually. I enjoy good food. Um, what else? I don't, I don't think I'm a, I'm a big dancer. I'm not, I'm not the best dancer. But I like to feel connected spiritually to, to God. You know, because I believe that without him, I will not be here. And I'm only recently I'm I'm realizing that I'm become I've become more like a channel, you know, and I'm allowing um, God's message to pass through me, through my designs, because that is what I feel like. Uh, like time and time again, when I go to shows, I realize that people 
are getting connected, you know, um, to, to symbols that did not originate from this country, from the US, it originated from Ghana. And by the grace of God, I've been, I've been blessed in, I've been blessed with, with enough techniques, enough knowledge to, to bring the symbols to life and to appeal to a different kind of, since we say humanity chats, a different kind of humanity <laughs> or population. <laughs> okay, Ebenezer, I've got to say this. I asked you for a fun fact, but even your fun fact is like you said, you are a messenger from God to bring hope. So even when you're having fun, you're working. I mean, dude, it's like, seriously, I mean, I do appreciate your answer, but I thought you were going to tell me that maybe you like to roller skate or, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> how about, how about if I'm not waking, I'm sleeping. I'm trying to catch up on my energy. That's a good fun fact. Sleep is also very important. Hey, viewers, listeners, you heard that. <laughs> Ebenezer's fun fact is that when he's not working, he's sleeping. He's sleeping, yeah. yes. <laughs> But I wonder, with him making all the kind of things that he's making, I actually wonder how much sleep he's getting. I mean, seriously, <laughs> you are amazing, Ebenezer. Um, you, you just talked about these symbols, you know, and I, I can really see where you're coming from because I went to your website and viewers, I'm putting his website there. It's www akako.com for our podcast listeners akako is a as in apple k as in king a as in apple k as in king p p as in paul oh. yeah oh. <laughs> oh my god margie march knock myself yeah and o as in orange um www.akako.com he has all these beautiful designs on there that you can purchase and he is um he's quite affordable too so i think when i went on his website i ended up buying four or five things i'm really looking forward to getting my swag but um back to you uh, making products that send messages i actually um you know i'm an author in my book same elephants talks about the importance of representation. It talks about friends. And so when I went on your website, I bought friendship, friendship and yeah. I bought yeah. hope because yeah. those are in line with, you know, the kind of stuff that Margie preaches. Um, Margie doesn't always practice that though, you know, cause I'm human. There are times that I practice um, being angry or stuff like that, but, <laughs> But I did buy hope and friendship from your website. So it is true when you get something that has a message, it resonates. I know that for the month of February, I've been wearing black girl magic earrings and melanin popping and I'm not taking it off because it just makes me feel so cool, you know? So yeah. yes, yes. But Ebenezer, um, you are talking about your jewelry and your designing. How do you create those things? Do you have like equipment? How do you create those things? So with, with every design, it begins with an idea. And that is why I kept talking about God because it begins with an idea and God is a creator, right? So if, if, I'm, if I'm designed or built in his image and I'm a miniature version of him. So the idea comes out and sometimes I'll quickly sketch it out and once I finish sketching out, sketching it out, I'll use the techniques available for me, like computers. But that is something that um, initially I did not, I had no knowledge of computers. So in order for me to be able to use computers to do my design, I actually had to learn how to build and troubleshoot computers. So by doing that process, I use a lot of, you know, I go through um, a lot of fixes. So I will, I will make a sketch, scan it use a computer to adjust it, come back again to the sketch. Like I keep working till it's almost like you hear a whisper in your mind telling you it is okay, it's time, you know, it's time to put into production. So then I bring it to life. And bringing products to life, uh, or my products to life, I can either use laser, I use lasers, I use 3D printers, and also old school, um, 
manufacturing, like what I learned when I was in, in Ghana as an apprentice, uh, also in school. So those are the process. That's how I go about my process. Wow, we have we have comments. Um, you know, we have Mamiya Boswo, and she said she is on your website, and she is completely blown away. Well, Mommy, if you are on his website and you're blown away, you got to order, 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 <laughs> order. And you got to tell your friends about this young man. No, I don't. I see gray hair in his beard. I don't think he's so hey, young. I'm distinguished. <laughs> well, you got to tell people about this man and his talent. Um, we have Janet saying that your designs are absolutely amazing. Well, thank you, Janet. So I guess, Janet, you saw the website too. So you go on there and you go order and send this to all your, Janet is watching from YouTube. So I'm assuming that with the last name, Ando, I'm assuming she's on a lot of WhatsApp platforms. So share this video with your <laughs> network so that your network would go and look at Ebenezer's stuff and order, order, order. We wanna we wanna make sure that Ebenezer is thriving with this kind of skill that he has. Um, you know, um, okay, we have Amy, another YouTube viewer, asking, where did you learn your craft, Ebenezer? Um, you know, Amy, he has been to Italy, studied in Italy, he's studied in Maine. We said that in the intro, and he's also studied in New York but I don't have to answer all the questions for Ebenezer. Please tell us more about how you learned your craft. So um, I, I would say I started off from high school. So my high school, uh, GSTS, is designed for, for people like me, where you have, you have the, the technicals as well as the sciences. Um, yeah, it's a secondary technical school. So I, you know, we do a little bit of physics, chemistry, biology, maths, English, and then you also do woodwork, metal work, and technical drawing. I, I automatically gravitated towards technical drawing. And I feel like even when I was doing my apprenticeship as a, as a jeweler in Ghana, it became very handy. So right from inception, it started from high school and then as an apprentice in Ghana, and then to Italy as a jewelry designer and stone setter. And then to Maine College of Arts, where I I had to humble myself because it wasn't it wasn't a, a, a complete jewelry making school. Initially, I thought it was a complete jewelry making school, but when I arrived, I I, I was shocked that it was actually an art school. And frankly speaking, I didn't want to do any of the other cur uh, curriculums in the program. I didn't want to have anything to do with sculpture, graphic design, um, 2D design. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. But I had to humble myself with the help of uh, one of my favorite professors. Uh, her name is Tracy Cockrell, who told me that if I don't humble myself to learn new things, I'll end up wasting my time in the school. And when she said that, I had to let go. And allow myself to take on new experiences. Prior to that, I also knew the importance of what computer was gonna, or how, what, how computer was gonna play a vital role in manufacturing as well as design. And because I didn't have any knowledge in computers, uh, I tell people when I left Ghana, I was even scared to touch a computer because I, I thought if I touched it, it was gonna explode. Um, I mean that that was just the the that is how we brought we were brought up you know so uh, because computers were expensive you are not allowed to touch them you know so we only turned them on and then we turned it off that's what we did at my uncle's house so I first of all I said to myself okay the best thing to do or what I think is going to help me in the future is to actually learn how to build and troubleshoot computers. Um, and that has actually helped me because I also work as an IT person for um, a quasi-governmental institution here in Maine. And the skill that I'm carrying from all different, all these different places is adding to who I am today. Wow, um, what a beautiful answer. And you know what, it is, uh, it's kind of weird that 
Mami Ya went to your website and is looking at your designs and she's raving about it. She actually just wrote a book called Next Level Education. Um, it came out this January. And she is an advocate for vocational and technical education. Yeah. So Mami Ya is a big advocate for that. Um, she She's actually, um, she's a professor. She's a chemical engineer by... Oh, wow. Yes, she's a professor at a technical college in Wisconsin, and this is her platform um, promoting technical and vocational education. So she probably didn't even know you were going to say this, but I'm sure she's so excited wherever she yeah, you should tell her. You should tell her to start focusing also on material sciences for 3D printing uh, to be able to 3D print directly to metal. That is becoming like a big thing. I'm sure she already knows about it, but oh, wow. that is. That is my that is my next my next journey. <laughs> oh, Denisa, I cannot wait to see where you go with this, and I want the whole world to learn about you because your your your, your craft is beautiful. I went to your website, and usually I see a Dinkra symbols in either gold or silver, but then I saw blue, red, yellow, and Margie Margie. As you can tell, I love color. I love, yeah. <laughs> I was looking on the website, I'm like, blue earring, so check, red, check, you know, <laughs> yellow, check, yes, white, check, check. Um, yeah, <laughs> and so I love, I love, I love your stuff. I think you're doing a great job. Um, viewers, listeners, um, as we mentioned before, you go to www. Now, let me put it back there so that those who are watching can actually see it www.acapo.com go order your stuff if you're on youtube hey this is your time to open two browsers um if you're on facebook that's right do you have a facebook page for your business ebenezer yes i do um I, it is actually my last name which is a k a k p o mm -hmm. and co c o okay okay that's amazing that's amazing um guys Look at look it up on social media. Find him. Um, when I googled Ebenezer Akako, so much of his stuff came up. So find him so that you can support him. Um, this is amazing. Now, Ebenezer, when I tried to read about you, I realized that Maine had commissioned you to do a bust project. And yeah. And that you were also into apparel. Can you tell us more about that? I know we have only eight more minutes, but please tell us about all that you have been doing. Yeah. So um, part of part of my my I'm just gonna segue from the education part. So part of my education has also been um, working as a as a contract jeweler for Zales and Diamond, the Diamond Shop. Uh, I did that for about four years, did IT for four years. And at some point, I decided to fuse both worlds into industrial design. So that is what led me to uh, to RIT. So now, after RIT, um, I was on, uh, after RIT, well, at RIT, I was at um, the Cooper Hewitt Center in New York. It's actually it's a museum. And there was a show featuring at the time titled Designing for the 90 for the ninety percent of the world population. So apparently all these luxury design companies, they only designed to target 10% of the world population because 90% of the world population is considered to be poor or living under poverty. Um, so at that point, my intent of focusing on luxury design shifted to how I can use design as a tool to help humanity, all right? So then when I came back, I went back to school, I started thinking about, okay, what can I do to help? And when I was growing up in Ghana, what were some of the issues that I, I witnessed or I experienced that I wish I could have solved at the time? So now with design as a tool, what can I do to solve some of those issues? So that led to um, creating a system to aid safe drinking water. And in the process of me showcasing the a prototype of the unit with the help of a company called BNI Plastics in Rochester, New York, um, I, I kept asking questions. So I was there for two things. One was for human factor, and the other one was to find out costs. So I was asking people what they thought about the pricing, and most of them kept saying, we like it, we love it, but it's too expensive. 
So at that point, the jewelry making kicked in again. All right. And I was like, okay, how do I use the symbols in an innovative way to create something that people will like and then take part of that proceeds to provide a UV unit to people who need it? So that is how, you know, this, it all started. So now moving forward to the, um, to the, to the bus shelter, um, when the proposal came and I applied, the first thing that came to mind because of the way, um, you know, Black Lives Matter and all these incidents taking place, the first two symbols that popped to mind was friendship and hope. And I felt like, so if you look at the picture, actually, I don't, I don't know if you have the picture, but if you look at the picture of the, the bus shelter, I said, what do we do? Like when you, are, when you are in stress, you look over your shoulder for a parent or for a friend, all right? And then we also look up in the heavens when things don't go the way we want. And the symbol hope means that God is in the heavens listening to our prayers. You know, so I use the symbol as a pattern for the ceiling. And then on the sides, I use hope because people are looking over their shoulders. And then in the front and back, I use the symbol friendship because the symbol friendship also means that we are interdependent on each other. So I felt the need of using those two symbols because those are the two actually, those are the two symbols that resonated. So I felt the need of using those two symbols so that it will also become um, a place for people to connect, a place for people to, to calm down and also to have conversations and to, to remind themselves that with everything that is going on today, when you look up in the heavens, there is hope. And when you look to your side or when you look to the front or when you look behind you, there is a friend who is just there to embrace you. Wow. So through your work, you're helping the underserved. And also through your work, you are providing hope to others because your yeah. symbols, because yeah. the, the symbols that you choose are symbols that 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 give that that give that um encouraging um an uplifting message to people. Yeah. yeah. I um I wish I you know folks um Ebenezer's bus design and all that is on his website. Um I put the website up. Please visit the site, learn more about him. We have to support him. I see all these designers um, that we have feedback and I'm wondering um, why that is. I see all these designers that are doing great things out there and I admire and applaud them. But you know what? Ebenezer belongs right there with the rest of them. And so if you're watching this video, make sure you share it with someone, make sure you tag somebody so they can learn about this amazing man and what he is doing. Now, um, Ebenezer, Hi. You make your products on a large scale. Um, you make custom products for people. Can they order and say, this is what I want. This is what I'd like to see. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We welcome custom work um, as well as what I have on my website. And I continuously try to, um, through the channeling, <laughs> try to create uh, unique pieces, but most importantly, sticking with this, with the with the message or with the symbols. Um, many, many, many a times, I'll be doing shows and people will come and you know they'll buy something. I will ask them why are you buying this particular symbol, and then, uh, for example, this other lady will say she said her friend just donated a kidney and that is something that she would not do herself. So she bought her uh, an earring of bravery. You know, um, there's, a, there's, there's another lady who um, apparently is very um, religious 
and she was also going through a very hard time. So this lady bought a glass, uh, only God. Um, and then the story I was, t- I was telling you about yesterday of the, um, the lady who uh, I was showing her one of my cups with a symbol of hope. And she snatched it from me and said, this is what I want. And I asked her, why? Why this one? And then she said, because I lost my husband a month ago. And then I told her, because you know she doesn't really understand what the symbol is, but because it says hope on it. And I said, the symbol, the, meaning the, the true meaning of the symbol means that God is in the heavens listening to our prayers. And she started crying. And you know, it, it's at times like this, or moments like that, I feel like I am just a channel. I'm just a vessel, you know? And where my work is gonna take me, I don't think I know. So I'm allowing myself to be that vessel. We cannot all be pastors. <laughs> <laughs> But we can do our little bits to help humanity. And that is all I aspire for. Yes, we could do our little bit to help humanity. Um, That's what we all strive for. Um, When we do these chats on a weekly basis, we just get together and talk about everyday issues that impact humans. And what we have found is that people who tune in um, come for different reasons. There's some people who may not necessarily want to listen to the news that day. They just want to read it. And so by coming to listen to other people's stories, they are uplifted. But, you know, we don't always have happy stories. There's, there are times where our discussions are a little bit deep or there may be times where we may not have a so happy um, um, uh topic uh, to discuss. And so um, Humanity Chats is just conversations for everyday people. And we have people from all walks of life. Um, it's, it's just amazing. We've talked about racial inequities, people recovering from COVID-19. This morning, we talked health matters with Marshawn Evans Daniels. Um, if you missed Marshawn's talk, hey, go to our YouTube, subscribe. You can catch a replay of that. Just before Ebenezer came on, we um, had a leadership and love chat with Jill Littlejohn. Uh, Black History Month on Margie TV has been amazing. We have talked to people from, uh, we've had all these topics that, you know, we, We've touched on different topics. We've had black authors come on board. We have talked about maintaining um, a healthy lifestyle, maintaining balance. Um, It's just unbelievable. Subscribe and you will get to watch all those shows. But Ebenezer, I have been so impressed with you. Um, You know, I know you have a message for potential sponsors and customers out there about your craft and what you stand for. So I'm going to give you the opportunity. And we have gone beyond our 30 minutes, but that's okay, viewers. Um, I'm going to give you the opportunity, Ebenezer, to share that message with the world. Now, people, open your ears. Ebenezer has a message for you. Yes, let's go. All right. Um, I enjoy making beautiful things, but I also like solving problems. And I know there are a lot of problems out there to be solved, as much as we also want to adorn ourselves. So I guess we can all be good to each other um, and hope that by supporting each other, we can all grow. That is all we need. We all need to support each other and we all need to grow exponentially. That's all I got. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, It is truly an honor. And I'm very, very, very thankful for all the viewers, for Maji, for what you're doing, for Maji TV. I am just hoping, you know, this humanity charge should be like, it should just go off the off 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 to space with Elon Musk. 
do you mean we should go away or do you mean you want us to blow up? Like blow up, blow up, away? like blow up with Elon, Elon Musk's uh, space, you know, you should be you should be doing this uh, humanity charts from from yes. Mars or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, we're all humans, um, yeah. you know, regardless of our race, our gender, and that is something we have in common. We all bleed red, and so um, my hope is that through this um, forum, we will be able to touch many lives. We'll be able to bring hope to others, and also for our own mental health. Sometimes just to sit here and talk, and you know, just be there for each other. That that is all we need. Now, um, you know, before we end this show, I want to give some shout outs. Um, I want to give a shout out to Stella PR for making our awesome graphics for Margie TV. Thank you guys so much for all that you do. Um, I want to thank the uh, Margie TV team. You guys rock. Thank you so much for working behind the scenes. And of course, um, we are thankful to the RD Collections. Um, RD Collections has been providing gifts for, um, for a lot of our guests. Thank you so much, RD Collection. The website is on the ticker. You can look them up. They have some beautiful candles. Um, you know, Ebenezer, for you, they have car fresheners and all mm. that good stuff. I'm sure they're going to be sending you one of those. Um, make sure you, you send us your address because, <laughs> yes. And you know, the lady who founded RD Collections was, at, she is actually a pharmacist. Oh, wow. Yes, she works. She used to work for Walgreens and she got laid off as a result of the pandemic. Oh, wow. And um, she, she just like you, she tapped into her talents and used her um, pharmaceutical knowledge and knowledge. chemistry and all the skills that I don't have. Um, now she has soaps, she has candles, perfumes. Wow. She has her own perfume collection. I mean, it is amazing to see what God has done in Rachel's life. And she has partnered with us. We're so grateful for Rachel's partnership. So y'all go visit our D collection and support Rachel. Um, thanks to Innovation Abound, our sponsors for February, uh, you know, Black History Month. That's what's up. We have brought a lot of empowerment, a lot of uplifting <laughs> messages. I cannot believe that today is our last show for Black History Month. But you know what? This is not the end. On Monday, we have a special show that we're going to be having at 7 p.m. March is Developmental Disabilities Month. And so we're going to bring Charles Lee Center Foundation. And oh my goodness, Charles Lee has partnered with over 40 businesses, local businesses. Um, it's kind of like a fundraiser because the organization, the foundation was not able to have its February fundraiser. And so these businesses have graciously offered to give a portion of their proceeds towards Developmental Disability Awareness Month. And so Charles Lee is going to come on and tell you all about the good stuff and give a big shout out to all these businesses that are um, participating in this initiative. And March 4th, Thursday, we're back to regular programming. It's Women's History Month. And if you know Margie March, that's what I'm about. It's all about girl power. And so we're going to have President Newkirk, who is the president of Converse College, be our opener for March. Um, I cannot wait to hear about President Newkirk's journey and also the direction in which she's taken Converse College. Converse was an all-female college um, that is moving in a good direction now. Um, and so she's going to tell us, I think they're co-ed now even, um, she's going to tell us more about Converse. She's going to tell us all about um, empowering women, her life's journey, give us some nuggets. So tune back in next week. And if you're here and you're not subscribed to Margie TV, you're missing out on something. Subscribe to our YouTube, subscribe to our podcast, because sometimes you might not want to watch. You may be going for a walk and would just want to listen on the podcast. We are available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Audible, Amazon Music, Listen, Notes. I could go on and on. We're on all the major podcasts. And so Ebenezer, if you're not subscribing to our podcast, you go do that because guess what? This show is going to be on the podcast. And now 
We have fans in 21 countries that are gonna be learning about this black craftsman who's been making all these beautiful designs for the world. And I cannot wait for you to blow up and be on top of the world because Ebenezer, I am going to come for my commission. No problem. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm like your agent right now. Oh my goodness, you have all these positive comments. Um, let's 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 highlight some. Um, yes, yes, Amy Atta. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. Amy said nice stuff. She will spread the word. Thank you for spreading the word, Amy. Thank um, you, Amy. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Great work doing your bits from Messi Luguterra. Thank you, Mercy Lugu Lugu. I mean, Mercy tunes in every week. Um, she is from the DMV area. We really appreciate all of you. Oh my goodness. Um, Priscilla, thank you, Priscilla. Thank you, thank you. Oh, see, Mamiya is ordering now. Oh. Epinizer, <laughs> I got you business. I see that. I'll be sharing, I'll be I'll be sending you your, your cuts. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need 90% commission. How hey. that? <laughs> so <laughs> viewers, listeners, I know we've gone for the time. But you can find Ebenezer on social media, um, Akako and Co. Um, you can find him on, yeah, Facebook. He's on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram. So you yeah. can find him, Akako and Co. And that is AS in Apple, KS in King, AS in Apple, KS in King, P as in Paul, O, A, and D as in Dog, C as in Cat, O. And to buy Ebenezer's uh, merch, um, and his great work, go to akako.com. Um, it's right there, displaying there. Go find him, buy his stuff, tell people about him. Let us support work done by us for us. I um, I cannot wait, um, Ebenezer, to get my cut from you so that I can use it to buy more stuff from no you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, we really appreciate you. We do this because of you. You keep coming back week after week and you tell us the topics that you want us to talk about. And so that's what we do. Um, March is going to be about women, but we're going to have some interesting topics too. Now, uh, you know what you have to do? Go to margimarch.com, www.marjymarj.com. Subscribe to our newsletter. You're going to get the whole lineup for the month. And then you can pick and choose. If you're busy one Thursday and you don't like the topic, you can always jump to that other Thursday. Or you always know that you can catch up on that YouTube channel. Give us those views. Give us those downloads. Well, thank you so much, everyone. We have enjoyed talking to you, um, being here with you. Thank you for your comments in the chat room, for being so engaging. We really appreciate you. Do you have anything to say, Ebenezer, before we sign off? Well, once again, I thank you for the for giving me this platform to, uh, to echo my work. Um, the other thing that I also want people to understand is that the beauty about what I do is that I'm using symbols, these symbols that are sentimental to us, symbols that tell stories about us or about our friends to create patterns. And once I create the patterns, the symbol disappears, but it is there. And that, that is what makes it unique to the individual because then they have the control to keep their story to themselves or to share with others. So thank you so much for giving, once again, for giving me this platform to share my story as a hidden gem in Maine. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. You are truly a hidden gem. Now Maine is lucky to have you. But hey, my ATL folks, my San Francisco folks, people everywhere, New Yorkers. Hey, Florida, I know we got a lot of listeners in Florida. Y'all got to spread the word about we need, to, we, need to, we need to grow. We need to get into all the states. Yes. So, yes. You know, I'm praying for that and I'm, I'm very hopeful. Well, Ebenezer, Amen. we lift you up in Jesus' name. Success Amen. Amen. You already have success, but it's even going to get better. That's what I pray for. Yes, yes, yes. 
<laughs> Margie TV Fest, we have gone past our time. Um, it was it's so good seeing you guys. Um, good night. See you on Monday to talk about disabilities develop. Yeah. 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 It's not okay. We get it. We get it. We yeah. Get see it. you on Monday at 7 p.m. <laughs> to learn about Charles Lee Center Foundation. And again on Thursday to listen to President Newkirk. Until next time, good night from Ebenezer and Margie. Thank you.